Welcome back to Shadows in the Dark, where we explore the strange and unexplained. In today's episode, we're diving into the world of Oregon's cryptids, creatures that lurk in the shadows of the Pacific Northwest. And to kick things off, let's talk about the most famous of them all. Bigfoot. When you think of Oregon's mysterious creatures, Bigfoot is the one that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Known by many names, including Sasquatch, this towering, ape-like figure has dominated Oregon's cryptid scene for generations. But this legend didn't start with blurry videos or curious hikers. It has roots much deeper in the region's history. Long before Bigfoot became a pop culture phenomenon, Native American tribes in the Pacific Northwest, like the Lummi and Salish, were telling stories about wild, hairy men roaming the forests. The Lummi called these beings, Tezumekwis, while the Salish used the term, Sasquatch, the name that would eventually become famous around the world. To these tribes, Bigfoot was more than just a story. It was part of their understanding of the natural world, a mysterious presence that lived in the dense, ancient woods. As settlers began to move into Oregon in the 1800s, they started hearing similar stories and even having their own strange encounters. One of the earliest and most well-known accounts came in 1924, just across the border from Oregon in Ape Canyon, Washington. A group of miners reported being attacked by large, ape-like creatures that hurled rocks at their cabin from a cliff. This story, like many others, added fuel to the growing legend of Bigfoot. Today, Oregon is one of the top places for Bigfoot sightings, with more than 1,400 reports over the years. These encounters mostly happen in the Coast Range and the Cascade Mountains, especially in counties like Clackamas, Josephine, Jackson, and Klamath. Some people claim to have seen the creature walking through the woods, while others report hearing strange, unexplainable sounds at night, howls and knocks that seem to come from something not quite human. One of the most famous pieces of evidence that keeps Bigfoot believers hopeful is the 1967 Patterson-Gimlin film. While the footage was shot in Northern California, not far from Oregon, it shows a creature many believe to be a female Bigfoot. The film's authenticity is still debated to this day, but it has become a symbol for those who believe there's something out there in the forests. Beyond the sightings, Bigfoot has become a huge part of Oregon's culture. Towns like Willow Creek and Happy Camp, close to the Oregon border, are known for their Bigfoot-themed festivals and shops. Tourists can find Bigfoot t-shirts, mugs, and even beer dedicated to the creature. The legend is so big, it's hard to travel through the state without seeing some reference to the elusive giant. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Many skeptics say the lack of clear proof, like photos or physical remains, shows that Bigfoot is just a myth. Some suggest that many sightings could be misidentified bears or outright hoaxes. But believers argue that the sheer number of reports, plus strange footprint casts and audio recordings, point to something real, possibly a surviving group of Gigantopithecus, an ancient giant ape, or an undiscovered hominid living in the wilderness. Whether Bigfoot is real or not, the legend continues to thrive in Oregon. For many, it's a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit of the state. Oregon's dense forests and rugged mountains still hold their secrets, and Bigfoot is a reminder that there's so much we still don't know about the world around us. So, whether you're a believer or a skeptic, there's no denying that the mystery of Bigfoot will always be a part of Oregon's story. And we've got plenty more cryptids to explore, so stay tuned. Continuing our journey into the mysterious world of Oregon's cryptids, we encounter the terrifying Amhuluk, a fearsome creature rooted in the legends of the Kalapuya people. The Kalapuya, who lived in what is now Oregon, tell stories of Amhuluk, a monstrous aquatic being that lurks in a water basin near the Forked Mountain. This creature is said to be large and dangerous, always waiting to drag its victims down to a watery grave. Amhuluk's appearance alone is enough to strike fear into anyone who might encounter it. It has a massive, spotted body covered in fur, with four limbs and two large menacing horns that crown its head. Its limbs, however are hairless, which only adds to its eerie and unnatural look. To make matters worse, Amhuluk is often accompanied by a pack of loyal dogs, 
further increasing its power and intimidation. According to Kalapuya legend, Amulek once wanted to make its home near the Atfaladi people, a group living in the Tualatin Valley. The fertile plains in this area seemed ideal, but Amulek was far too massive for the region to hold him. Realizing that the land was not suited to a creature of his size, Amulek traveled to the forked mountain instead. There he found a lake that could accommodate his immense size, and the lake has since been his home, a dangerous domain for those who venture too close. One chilling story tells of three children who ventured into the mountains to gather roots. They spotted Amulek, but being unaware of the danger, they decided to approach the creature. Thinking they could hunt it and make tools from its large horns, they were eager to get closer. But before they could act, Amulek charged at them, its horns impaling two of the children. The third, the eldest, managed to escape and ran back to the village, breathless and terrified. He told the villagers what had happened, but soon after he fell asleep from exhaustion. While he slept, strange spots appeared on his skin, matching the spotted pattern of the monster. Desperate to find his other two children, the father of the surviving boy followed their tracks into the mountains. He eventually saw them in the distance, but as soon as he approached, they vanished and reappeared on the other side of the mountain. He chased after them five times, but each time the same thing happened, they disappeared, only to reappear somewhere else. Finally, the man stopped, standing near the lake. There, in the misty water, Amulek emerged with the two missing children impaled on its horns. The children spoke to their father, saying, Our bodies have been changed. The father camped by the lake for five days, hoping to save his children. But on the fifth day, he realized that they now belonged to Amulek. Heartbroken, he returned to the village, knowing that his children would never come back. In some versions of the story, Amulek doesn't violently take the children. Instead, it enchants them, drawing them toward the water with some strange magical power. Entranced, the children wander into the lake, where they are slowly entangled by the thick vegetation and pulled under, disappearing forever into Amulek's watery realm. These stories not only reveal the terrifying power of Amulek, but also reflect the Kalapuya people's deep respect for nature and the mysteries hidden within it. The number five, which plays a key role in these tales, holds a special significance in Kalapuya religion, appearing repeatedly in the events surrounding the monster. In the end, Amulek stands as a haunting reminder of the dangers that lie in the depths of Oregon's lakes and the powerful spirits that protect them. Moving on with Oregon's cryptids, one of the most fascinating creatures people have reported seeing is the Oregon Dogman. This mysterious beast is described as a towering, seven-foot-tall, canine-like creature that looks both like a dog and a man. It has the face and torso of a human but with sharp, animal-like features. With glowing red eyes, pointed ears, and a shaggy coat, the dogman is said to walk upright on two legs, just like a human. People have spotted this strange creature in several places across the state, including Albany, Eugene, and near Klamath Falls. Eyewitnesses who have seen the dogman report feeling a sense of fear and unease, often describing it as something that doesn't belong in the natural world. The creature's glowing red eyes are one of the most unsettling features, giving it an almost supernatural appearance. Witnesses have said they felt like they were being watched before they even saw the creature, as if it had some kind of unnatural awareness or intelligence. The origins of the Oregon dogman are still a mystery, and no one really knows what it is or where it came from. There are many theories though. Some people believe that it could be a species of animal that science hasn't discovered yet. According to this idea, the dogman might be some kind of primate, related to apes, that has adapted to walking on two legs. This could explain why it looks like a mix between a dog and a human. Those who support this theory say that the forests of Oregon are vast and full of wildlife, so it's possible that an unknown creature could be living there, hidden from humans. Others believe that the dogman is something far more mysterious and unexplainable. They think it could be connected to ancient legends of werewolves, humans that can transform into wolves or wolf-like creatures. In this theory, the dogman is not a flesh-and-blood animal, but rather a supernatural being. 
Some even suggest that it might be a manifestation of an ancient force, something from deep in the Earth's past that has re-emerged. This idea links the dogmen to old Native American stories that talk about spirits and creatures that protect the land or serve as warnings to humans. In these stories, such beings often appear to remind people of their connection to nature and the spiritual world. While there is no solid proof that the Oregon dogman exists, the stories and sightings continue to stir up curiosity. The state's dense forests, rugged mountains, and wide open spaces provide plenty of room for such a creature to hide, if it's real. Whether it's a lost species, a cryptid, or a creature of folklore, the dogman has captured the imagination of those who hear about it. People who claim to have seen the dogman are often left with more questions than answers, making this creature one of Oregon's most enduring and mysterious legends. In the end, the Oregon dogman remains a puzzle, a creature that sits on the border between fact and fiction. Its strange, unsettling presence in the reports of witnesses keeps it alive in the minds of cryptid hunters and believers in the unknown. Until more evidence is found, the dogman will remain one of Oregon's greatest mysteries, waiting in the shadows of its forests for the next person to cross its path. Another cryptid on Oregon's list of strange and mysterious creatures is the Gumbaru. Known mostly from old lumberjack stories, this odd creature is described as a fat, hairless, bear-like beast with thick, leathery skin. What makes the Gumbaru stand out even more is its strange ability to shrug off attacks. According to the legend, no matter how many bullets were fired at it, none could hurt the creature. The bullets would just bounce off its rubbery hide, leaving the Gumbaru completely unharmed. The Gumbaru is said to live in the deep forests of the Pacific Northwest, spending most of its time hibernating inside the hollow trunks of cedar trees. When it isn't sleeping, the creature supposedly has an unquenchable hunger, eating anything it can find. The stories claim that it's so ravenous that once awake, it devours everything in sight, including animals, people, and even other cryptids. But its most peculiar feature is the tough, impenetrable skin that protects it from harm. No weapon, not even guns, could pierce its thick hide, making it nearly invincible. Despite its terrifying presence, the Gumbaru isn't the most well-known cryptid. But to those who told its story around campfires, it was a creature of nightmares. Lumberjacks in the 19th century would share tales of close encounters, claiming they had seen the Gumbaru's dark, shiny, hairless body lurking in the forest. Some stories even tell of lumberjacks firing their guns at it, only to watch in amazement as their bullets bounced off. The creature would simply walk away, unfazed by their attempts to take it down. One of the strangest parts of the Gumbra legend is the warning about what happens if the creature is ever set on fire. It was said that the smoke from a burning Gumbaru was toxic. If someone breathed it in, it would cause their insides to turn into rubber, leading to a gruesome and painful death. This eerie detail added another layer of fear to the already strange and unsettling creature. While the Gumbaru is most likely a tall tale born out of boredom and imagination, some believe the legend may have roots in real sightings of animals. It's possible that lumberjacks, who spent long periods of time in the wild, might have come across bears suffering from severe mange or other skin diseases. A bear with a severe case of mange can lose most of its hair, leaving behind wrinkled, leathery-looking skin. To someone unfamiliar with the condition, a hairless bear might have looked like the terrifying Gumbaru. At the end of the day, the Gumbaru is likely just another piece of folklore, a creature made up to entertain and perhaps to explain the unknown. But like many cryptids, it has left its mark on the folklore of Oregon, where strange creatures seem to hide behind every tree. Whether it's real or not, the Gumbaru remains a memorable part of the state's rich tradition of strange and mysterious stories. It's one more reminder that in the forests of Oregon, you never know what might be waiting just out of sight. Last on the list of strange creatures said to roam Oregon's wilderness is the wild man. Similar to Bigfoot in size and appearance, the wild man is described as a large, hairy, two-legged creature. However, it stands apart from its better-known cousin due to its aggressive behavior and strong, unpleasant odor. Unlike Bigfoot, which is often described as shy or elusive, 
the wild man has been reported to show hostility when encountered, making those who claim to have seen it feel uneasy and even frightened. The wild man is most often reported in the dense forests and rugged landscapes of eastern Oregon, especially in the Blue Mountains and Wallowa Whitman National Forest. These areas are remote and hard to reach, which adds to the mystery of this creature. Sightings are rare compared to Bigfoot, but those who have had encounters describe not just the creature itself but also a strong, musky smell that lingers in the air long after it's gone. Many also talk about feeling a deep sense of fear or dread in its presence, as if they were facing something dangerous. One of the most interesting features that set the wild man apart from Bigfoot is its more human-like face. Some witnesses have said that the wildman's facial features seem more like those of a person than an ape. This has led to a lot of speculation about what the wild man might actually be. Some think it could be a feral human that has lived in isolation for so long it no longer resembles a modern person. Others believe it could be a relic from the past, possibly a surviving Neanderthal or an unknown species closely related to early humans. Still, some say it might just be a particularly aggressive version of Sasquatch, a subspecies of the creature many people believe in but can't prove exists. As with other cryptids, like the Oregon Dogman and the Gumbaro, the true nature of the wild man remains a mystery. Some researchers and enthusiasts spend years trying to find evidence of these creatures. They search the forests for tracks, strange sounds, or even physical evidence like hair or bones. Occasionally, there are blurry photographs or videos, but nothing solid enough to convince everyone. Skeptics argue that these creatures are just the stuff of legends or misunderstandings, the result of seeing a bear, a large person, or some other known animal in the wild. In some cases, they suspect hoaxes, where people create fake sightings to stir up interest or trick others. Yet, the stories persist. For generations, tales of the wild man have been passed down by people who live near these remote areas. Whether it's just folklore or something more, the wild man has become part of the fabric of Oregon's wilderness, adding a sense of mystery to the deep forests and high mountains. In a state known for its wild and untamed beauty, the possibility that something strange and unknown still walks the woods makes those places even more fascinating. Whether the wild man is real or not, its legend lives on, keeping alive the wonder and mystery of the unknown. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more stories from Shadows in the Dark. Stay curious, and keep an eye on the shadows.